I'm gonna have to edit so much cat out. Hey everybody, I'm Psycat Cosplay, and today I'm gonna be showing you how I put together my Farah harness and wings for my Farah cosplay that I made last year. Now, unfortunately, I don't actually have any footage of me making this costume because this was made in seven days before KatsuCon 2019. So I made it very fast and I don't recommend doing that. I'm going to be going through all of the materials that I used, all the tools that I used, and how this is all rigged together. So hopefully this will help you with rigging your own costume with wings in the future. This guy has decided he wants to help me. So he will be pointing out the salient features of this costume. No, not, not actually. Um, he's just interrupting my filming. Okay, so this is the chest plate, the shoulders, the wings, and the back plate. This is how the wings hook into the costume. I have made approximately eight winged costumes in my costuming past, so this is not my first time at the Wings Rodeo. Now, I knew I had to make this in seven days, and I knew I could make this in seven days with the wings because I already knew how to make a back plate. A lot of times when you see people with wing costumes, they make a U harness, a U bend harness out of PVC pipe. This is a great harness, but it's going to have a fairly lifted profile from your back because the PVC pipe is going to be at least an inch off your back or a couple centimeters off your back. This is actually a PVC sheet, otherwise known as Sintra back plate. It's a material that is the exact same thing as PVC pipe, which is what the wings are socketed into or socketed in with. So this harness snaps into the side of the breastplate. So these wings are very lightweight. They are made primarily out of EVA foam. The only thing that is not EVA foam is the PVC pipe that is being used as the socket. So if you can see in here, there's a piece of pipe that's actually been bent at an angle and you can bend PVC pipe with heat gun, but if you're going to be bending PVC, you need to use a respirator. PVC, when it is heated, gives off a very nasty gas. So if you're going to be heating PVC pipe, you need to use a respirator, or if you're going to be heating Sintra, which because it is also PVC, you need to use a respirator. Do not want to breathe this gas it will not be a fun time. So there's a little bit of pipe in the wing itself. It's very super lightweight. It's less than a pound each wing and it very easily sockets into the back plate. I'll get in close up on this in a minute. This is not screw in. It just literally sockets into the back plate. So it does have some wiggle, so you have to take that into account when you make your harness. You have to make sure that this pipe and your socket are going to be a pretty tight fit. It does allow the wings to move in and out. So if you need to move them in to move around the convention better uh, and move them out for photo shoots, you can do that. I can actually get into and out of this costume myself without a handler, which is rare for armor. So a little bit of rundown on the breastplate. The breastplate is made with foam over warbler. So the breastplate has a warbler base, which makes it very sturdy, and so that it's not going to warp, and that it can carry the weight of the back plate itself. Over the shoulder, there is a strap. Let me remove the shoulder here. And this shoulder is held on with three tabs with Velcro. So you can see there's one tab here, one tab here, and one on the shoulder here. And there is a D-ring on the breastplate that this strap can go through and then Velcro to itself. And that connects to the top of the back plate on the back. Whenever you're making a wing harness, you want to have a couple different points of contact. You want to have something that goes 
over the chest. If you didn't have a breastplate, you would want to go over the chest and connect back to the back plate. So you want to have over the shoulder harness. And you're going to want to have something under the bust. In this case, since it's attached to the breastplate itself, the breastplate is the under the bust attachment. So if you're making a wing harness, generally you want to have over the shoulders and under the bust. That way, the back plate is stable on your back and it isn't going to move around. Over on the side here, we have two parachute clips that are attached via elastic and strapping. These just clippy clop and clippy clop. And they unclip very easily and they reclip very easily. And these are just hot glued onto the back plate and onto the breastplate. Those hot glue joints though are highly reinforced with strapping and cross straps. So the strap itself is glued on and then a cross strap is glued on over it to prevent those straps from peeling off. It's not a perfect system. I made this very quickly. I would recommend using probably some other sort of adhesive to adhe adhesive to adhere this, but that's what I had at the time. Hot glue is not your enemy. Hot glue is a friend. So that's what I did at the time because of the time constraints that I had. And the back plate is a cincher base and then this is all foam over this. So taking both wings off will give you a better view of what the back plate actually looks like without the wings. Ta-da! So this is a piece of Cintra with foam over it, two PVC connectors with a piece of Cintra over the connector that is glued onto the back plate and then reinforced with a piece of uh, Warbla or Thebra just kind of glommed on there for reinforcement. So I'm going to take this apart so you can better see the whole shebang close up. So this is the PVC sheet, otherwise known as Cintra backplate. This is a piece of Cintra over a PVC tube connector. That's all that is. And you have to make sure that the size of PVC that you're getting and the connector are the ones that are going to mate together and be a pretty tight seal. This is a piece of Cintra covered in foam and it is bent. So you can see that there is a curve in the bottom and a curve at the top. You need to make sure that when you are making a back plate, it conforms to your back. It's not straight up and down. If it's straight up and down, the weight distribution is going to be not the best and it's not going to be as comfortable as if you curve it to your back. There's also a piece of foam on the inside here just for comfort and to cover over some of the connectors here. They might get a little pokey if you don't have anything that you're wearing underneath. So that foam there is just for comfort. And you can see how I glommed glue on up here to make sure that this connector does not go anywhere. It's real messy, but it does the job. So the way that you can make this curve in your Cintra is with heat, using a heat gun. Like I said before, when you're heating up PVC, always wear a respirator. Preferably do it outside with a respirator on so that your fumes do not go in your mouth. That sounds weird. So that you don't inhale the fumes. Now you might be asking, how in the heck do you glue this on? That would be super glue, cyanoacrylate cyano glue. This glue actually chemically bonds PVC to itself. This is one of the strongest glue bonds you're going to find in commonly used cosplay materials. And it's great. So all you need to do is, if you're gluing PVC to PVC, use a little bit of cyanoacrylate or super glue. I prefer the Bob Smith brand, linked down below. So what I did was I took a little piece of PVC sheeting and bent it so that it went around the connector. I then glued this piece to the connector 
And then there are little tabs on either side. This piece of foam hides the inner tab. The little tabs on either side that I glued to the back plate itself. And then I just glommed, this is actually Thebra, which is a type of thermoplastic, glommed Thebra on over it just to provide a better reinforced bond. And uh, yeah, these suckers don't go anywhere. This is, this is stuck on there. It's going to take a lot of force and a lot of weight to rip this off. This is a very sturdy bond. And that's pretty much it. It's not that hard to make a back harness for wings that are fairly lightweight and they're not super complex. And you can apply this type of harness and this type of wing apparatus to a lot of different costumes. If you're going to be making something that's got bigger, heavier wings, you can still use PVC as a back plate. You might just need to sandwich multiple layers together and make sure the back plate is big enough to bear the weight of the wings itself and it's snug to your body and harnessed incorrectly. So I hope that this little walkthrough of the costume has been helpful and I will hopefully see you again in the near future. Thanks for watching. The cat. I'm going through. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be bloopers material.